Hello everyone, my name is TheRetroDen and welcome to a brand new video which uh, is a long time away from my last video but everything has its due reasons and I'll get to them eventually in another video I don't want to stray too far away from this video's topic I'll talk about that in a later video About this video, as you can see, we're here in LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga as I thought it would be fitting given the theme of the video and today we're talking about LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, which is coming out next week on the 5th of April and is now featuring all the movies uh, in the history of Star Wars with remade levels from the Complete Saga and the Clone Wars. And we're getting everything in one game remastered with amazing graphics and it's really looking promising. I bought the Deluxe Pack, which is coming with 7 characters pack, which those I will review as well when I get my hands on them and on the day that the game releases. So today with this video I aim to give some of my opinions on what I think uh, I want added to this game. I say what I think I want because sometimes we want things that we actually, when we get them, they aren't as good as we thought they were going to be. So these are some ideas I have in mind for the game, but it doesn't mean that they're being added or, or that... I think they should be had at 100% or the game isn't going to be good. So uh, about that, let's get right into the video and I can tell you what I want for this game. First things first, I want the reintroduction of the dual levels that we had in LEGO Star Wars the video game and LEGO Star Wars the complete saga. Uh, those are like the, the levels which you got to play the duels of Count Dooku and... Anakin and Yoda and Obi-Wan, you got to play Obi-Wan versus Anakin. Uh, you basically got to play the classic duels that you saw in the movies. And after that you got to buy the characters that were in those episodes. Uh, and I want, and I think that by doing the the nine movies in one game, they have a huge chance to, to actually push those levels and have more interesting levels. They could even add some from the Clone Wars. One example I could think of at the top of my head is the Kit Fisto versus Grievous. Those were actually cool Clone Wars episodes and the fights were interesting and I think they would give a more important appearance to some of the characters that usually are kind of in the back line of the rosters of these games and I think there's a huge opportunity for improvement in that area. Moving on, I want lengthier levels that show more detail of each scene of the movie. But disclaimers, when I say more lengthier levels, I don't mean I don't mean lengthier levels as in 2 hour levels that give out every detail of a movie. I think in The Force Awakens, the Lego The Force Awakens game, we got a really uh, kind of good decent uh, decent length in levels. Of course, some some of them overstayed their welcome uh, because some of them really pushed the boundaries of what I wanted to do in terms of grinding in the end game for getting uh, to get the, all the collectibles and stuff. But despite those levels doing that, I think the length of most levels in The Force Awakens were really good. And I just want to see them showing a bit more detail in some specific areas of the game because now they can do that. It's a really big game and I think people who are buying it are expecting a lot of content. So the more they add, the more we will be happy and we want to see as much Star Wars as possible introduced into these games, as anyone would expect. Now, to move on into some things I don't want to see them do, one of them is 15-minute uh, levels that are included as DLC, which is paid for. Uh, the biggest example I can give of this is the DLC, the Phantom Limb, from LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, which tells the story of how C-3PO got his red arm, uh, you go through the level and play it and learn the story about how he got it, but the the thing is, you need this DLC if you want to 100% the game on Steam. And that right there kills the entire vibe of the game, because you have to pay the full game, you also have DLC packs that come in the season pass, and then there's one extra level that adds 4 or 5 achievements, which you have to pay for, and you only get, like, two characters or I don't think you I don't think you even get any characters if I'm being honest and you only got a 15 minute level that being said I hope when they do the LCs if they want to put levels into the LCs they do something bigger which has more meaning and they actually put a lot of levels into it so that people can actually get what they're get value for the money they're spending they could even get some original levels for this game like, the Phantom Limb was an original story from LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. We could also get some things related to the Christmas specials that came out on Disney+, Plus. that would also be really fun. The one where 
Ray goes through the multiverse and meets young Luke and everything like that. That would be uh, really fun. Moving on to more things I want. I want to see them adding something related to the Kenobi series since it's coming out. We're getting more details about Kenobi, maybe some new characters. And maybe a DLC pack about it would be really cool. That shows the game is being up to date and that they will not stop developing it uh, from the point where we have... Uh, we have got to until now in the Star Wars history, like the Book of Boba Fett. I think they they should go for the entirety of the expanded universe and make some content out of that, since they can't lose anything from doing so. Moving on to some things I want related to another topic, more this time more in art style related to the game. I want them to think. I, I want them to keep things simple. For example, you. As if you remember Anakin or even Luke, you can see here on the screen, his design is pretty simple. Of course, I want to see the new Anakin design, which they, they have from... That's like closer to the his Clone Wars appearance and the new Luke hairstyle that's also similar to the one we have in the minifigures you actually get today, IRL. But I think they should have a more simple approach to it as these games are just games uh, they are lego games they're supposed to be simple and i think if you make it over realistic it takes some of the charm out of it another thing as in gameplay uh now that i want to talk about is the bugginess of the game i just hope the game isn't too buggy uh like some other lego games that came out most specifically uh, the Lego Hobbit and the Lego the Force of, Star Wars The Force Awakens which had some problems running on more modern computers. Uh, sometimes you even had to recomplete entire levels because the game just bugged out and things wouldn't appear. So I hope like performance wise it they do their job and it's actually pretty well optimized so we don't have any struggles getting to the things we want and having to repeat unnecessary content uh, down the road now one thing that's going to happen and that i actually really like and i want to give them uh, props for it is the the return of level selection now it's just not an open world that most of the recent lego games have gotten i am not a really big fan of the open world mechanic i usually like the hub areas because those were were the place that you could see all the characters you have gotten until now. But I think this approach they're taking right now is really good. You have a hub area for each movie. That way you can choose if you want to actually go for a hub area. Or if you want to go to an open world. If you prefer a certain movie you can just go to the place where that movie is. And hang around the areas from that movie. Otherwise you'll mostly be walking around doing the levels and the things you need to do. But it's really neat that they uh, kind of mixed the two way the two things that we had until now, the level selection and the open world, and they're going to make the most out of it. From we from what we got from the trailers and everything, I think it's really good. And but we'll have to wait and see when the game comes out if it's really good or not. Now this thing is the next thing is just speculation uh, from what we've seen from the trailer. But they need to make the space gameplay better. Uh, what we've witnessed in uh, LEGO games, uh, not just Star Wars but Batman, is that the aerial space missions uh, always resume to uh, you having an isometric camera and then you have to fly around and the levels are pretty dull. U usually the levels are pretty dull. Uh, but I think they, they now have the experience from previous LEGO games, uh, not just LEGO Star Wars but LEGO Batman. And they have the experience to do some something really good with space battles. We already have seen in the trailer that they have some flying between planets and they have space gameplay, which is uh, going to be really good. I hope they don't make it as easy as in The Force Awakens, because in The Force Awakens it was just spamming the R2 button and you got everything done, because it's almost impossible for you to die. But that's another thing. We'll have to wait and see. Now... Uh, things that I want that are more specific is I want them to make missions not frustrating. And the ones I can think from the top of my head are the pod race in episode 1. Uh, which in the original games, not in the complete saga as much, but in LEGO Star Wars the video game. Uh, they were... They, it was frustrating to say the least. Uh, it was not fun like most of the levels. 
and the other one I can think of that most people will think about is the the, the start of the, the attack of the clones. Uh, because, let's be honest, that level sucked. Uh, you had an isometric view, the gameplay was not fluid, and it just ended up to people not wanting to go back there to collect all the mini kits because it got frustrating as hell. So I hope those kinds of levels are completely remade to be uh, more fun and I hope they are not completely uh, spaceship levels. I hope they mix it in some way or another and you can have like let's say 40% 40, 40 of the level be in spaceship and 40% of it being in on the ground action. But uh, that's up to them on uh, how they want to do it. But I'm pretty sure they'll remake it to make something better than what we had. It has been a lot of years since the game has came out. And there's a lot of room for improvement there. Now, getting those out of the way, uh, those are basically the only things I want. Uh, the rest I'm expecting them to do a good job. It's it's Traveler's Tales games. They, they have really good games. I'm, I'm mostly an enjoyer of the LEGO Star Wars games, but I have all of the LEGO games, from LEGO The Incredibles to LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, Jurassic World. I have played most of them, and I can say I like them all. They are really fun and neat games. It's one of my favorite genres, and I hope that this game makes a mark on the LEGO games and what we're going to get for the future, or another licensed video games, and that they just keep improving and improving. I think the biggest uh, game they made in the last years that make that made a, a huge impact in LEGO video games as a genre was LEGO Star Wars, not LEGO Star Wars, LEGO City Undercover. That one was really good, but I think with this one we have uh, finally something to look forward to as the next big mark in LEGO video games. They won't leave us hanging with that one, because from everything we got until now, we can pretty surely say that it's going to be a great game. Uh, but time will tell and we'll see with reviews from uh, game reviewers and everything if it will be as good as it looks like. I really like this new strategy they're taking of adding kind of RPG elements to the game to each character. This just makes it so you now have something other to choose characters for uh, than a character being able to activate bounty hunter terminals or, or maybe a character being a, a protocol droid that can activate uh, special doors. Now you actually have some more things to look forward to. Maybe you want certain stats to defeat an enemy, you pick a certain enemy, you need some uh, specific force ability, maybe you have a, a specific Jedi that does something that other Jedi don't do. And that's, a really, that's also something that has a lot of room for improvement and to make games better than what they were, because... Uh, we, as much as I like the old LEGO Star Wars games, we gotta admit, they're kind of basic, but that's what they're supposed to be. And right now, as the game industry evolves, we need to have more complex games, because people are more goal-oriented and they like grinding. Uh, not excessive grinding, because excessive grinding is always bad, and you don't want that in a single-player video game. But some kind of challenge and uh, ability to let the player think is always good. And I think there's, there's good opportunities to be explored. Uh, in this new release that is coming out on the 5th. If I would have to say one more thing that I want them to add is secret zones into the levels. Uh, we always had secret zones in LEGO video games and they were always pretty fun to explore. You got extra areas to uh, levels you already knew. One of them I can remember from the top of my head is the Naboo castle. Uh, from from the episode one, that was really fun to explore. You had the secret rooms, also the hangars from the Darth Maul level. Those were pretty fun to explore. Everything that's secret and new to the movies is really fun to explore, and I hope they work on that area so we can have more things to look forward to. That being said, this was a more chill video I wanted to make to talk about uh, this up and coming game, which I'm I might not sound like it, but I'm actually really excited for. Uh, it's one game I hold dear to my heart as I grew up with these games and I was also I was really addicted to them growing up especially Lego Star Wars uh, the video game which was one of my most played games on the PS2 and the original trilogy which was one of my most played games on the PSP uh, I, I hold this game I hold these games in a really dear place in my heart 
and I want to see them succeed because I want to have more of them in the future. That being said, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. I really want to know your opinions. What do you want in the game? What don't? What you don't want to see? Because I know everyone has their fair share of criticism to apply to the game. I know people are really mad that character customization isn't coming to the Skywalker saga. I, I personally don't really care about the customization because I was never really a big fan of it. When I play a Lego Star Wars video game, I want to play as the characters I know and love, uh, but I know some people are uh, criticizing uh, TT games for that, and I think uh, it can be added in a future update, and I think that's what they're, they'll probably do if it gets uh, too hot, the criticism. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the game when it comes out. I will be creating content on it, uh, and that's been it. Uh, feel free to subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on that content. Leave a like, it really helps in the algorithm. Other than that, this has been the Retro Dan. And I'm out.